Welcome to Topaz Plus Education. Topaz Plus is a reusable digital chest drainage and monitoring system that's battery operated with an average battery life of about 10 hours on a moderate air leak and weighs only 2.2 pounds without fluid. Behind the carrying handle is a bed rail holder and below the bed rail holder are two rail holder hooks. Opposite the canister side of the device is the power adapter port that's next to the USB port. It's strongly recommended that the device remains plugged in while the patient is bedside. There are two peripheral disposable components that are required with Topaz Plus, tubing and a canister. There are three sizes of tubing that are available with the Topaz Plus, the 12 to 20 French, the 20 to 32 French, and the 32 to 40 French. Each comes in a single and double configuration. There are three sizes of canisters available with Topaz Plus, 300 milliliters, the most commonly used 800 milliliter, and a two liter. To assemble Topaz Plus, while maintaining aseptic technique with the conical patient connector end of the Topaz tubing, take the Topaz connector end with the tubing facing up and side the small end into the suction port on the canister side of the device. Ensure that the orange O-ring is present, also known as a seal check. Install the canister right side up and feet first into the channels at the lower edge of the canister facing side of the device and then rock and lock the canister into place until you hear a click, ensuring a tight connection. On the top of the device is the canister release button, the display, the power button, the up and down selection arrows, and lateral left and right optional button arrows. The function of the lateral left and right option arrows change depending on what screen you're on. To power on the device, press the upper right power button. This will power on the device, not initiate therapy. After a diagnostic check, Topaz Plus will ask if this patient is new to Topaz Plus therapy or not. Press the applicable button. Pressing yes will issue a new patient number and time and history data will start at zero. Pressing yes will also take you to a functional check. To complete the functional check, occlude the patient connector end of the Topaz tubing using aseptic technique and press OK. After a functional check, the display should show test passed. If test failed appears, reassemble the device and run the functional check again. Once the test is passed, the patient connector end of the Topaz tubing can be inserted into the patient's chest tube or tubes. Ensure that the pressure setting in the bottom center of the display is as ordered and press on to begin therapy. To change the pressure setting while therapy is active, press the two lateral arrows simultaneously. Use the up and down arrows to get to the desired pressure and press OK to confirm. The equivalent setting for wall suction is negative 20 centimeters of water. For patients who are to be treated by gravity drainage or water seal, the physiological pressure of negative eight centimeters of water can be activated by pressing the bottom left arrow or physio. Press OK to confirm. You can see therapy is in progress with the rotating circle in the upper right corner of the display. On the home screen, the battery indicator is in the upper left corner. The left side of the screen shows the air leak, and the right side of the screen shows the fluid output. The device is default to show the total drainage, 24 hour drainage, one hour drainage. To activate or reset a demand fluid counter, press and hold the bottom right arrow for three seconds. This can be reset at any time without affecting the other values. To put the device in standby, 
press and hold the bottom left arrow for three seconds. Now you should see standby in the upper right corner of the display. Switch Topaz Plus to standby to take a drainage sample with a 17 gauge needle or smaller, to power off the device by pressing the power button, to change the Topaz Plus tubing, and also to change the canister. When in standby, change the canister by clamping the Topaz tubing. Press the big blue release button to release the canister. Seal the used canister by tearing off the canister seals from the back of the canister and inserting into these holes. Replace the canister. Continue with on and unclamp the tube. The acoustic signal for a warning or an alarm can be temporarily silenced for 60 seconds by pressing the up and down arrows simultaneously. To troubleshoot, simply follow the instructions on the display. For a battery low alarm, all you simply need to do is plug the device in and press OK. Topaz Plus provides objective air leak and fluid data. When therapy is active, press the up arrow to access three air leak history graphs and a catheter patency check. Press the down arrow to access the fluid data screen and three fluid history graphs. Objective data virtually eliminates intra-observer variability. Topaz Plus provides uninterrupted and regulated suction, eliminating the need to connect the patient to a portable suction device or set them to water seal during transport when wall or hospital suction is unavailable. Topaz Plus does not have to be positioned below the patient's chest, and because Topaz Plus is measuring fluid, it should remain level within 10 degrees of upright. Topaz and Topaz Plus were designed specifically for chest drainage, and they are FDA approved to be used anywhere a chest tube is used and in any patient population. Topaz and Topaz Plus have over 10 years clinical experience in digital chest drainage, and they have served over a million patients worldwide. They are ideal for application in any ERAS initiative, be it thoracic or cardiac. The proprietary algorithms used in these devices are based on 60 years of suction technology, as well as over 10 years of customer experience and feedback, and have been engineered to be patient-centric and customer-friendly. Medela is the world leader in digital chest drain technology. For additional information, please reference the Topaz Plus IFU or contact the Topaz Plus 24-hour clinical support line at 866-257-4123. Thank you so much.